Assuming your current recording environment is uh, acoustically correct, when you make changes, you have to make sure that the new setup sounds exactly the same as the previous one. This is Brian Kirchhoff. Welcome to the voiceover page. And with a new year for me is going to come a new configuration in my studio. And that means that I have to make sure that what I end up with sounds exactly the same as the previous setup. I was 100% satisfied with how the previous status how the previous setup sounded, so I have to make sure that the new setup sounds as good as the previous setup. Follow what I'm saying? The only way you can really go about doing that is to listen to files that you recorded with the previous setup and make sure that um, you can adjust things acoustically so that you can match that. And for me, it's going to involve moving my, um, my panels around and um, probably putting something in the ceiling because I'm bumping out my studio that direction to where I have another foot of headroom because in 2018, I'm just going to be standing more to record. And it's not because I prefer to stand or I need to, it's just because I just want to do something different. You know, when you're in the same room all day, you just like to have things change around just a little bit every now and then. So. Be sure that when you make a change to your acoustically correct studio, that um, the new system or the new setup sounds exactly the same as the old. Because you might get into that situation where you have to go back and make a change to something you recorded in the previous setup. And if it's acoustically different, while the difference may be subtle, for me, subtle isn't good enough. It has to be exactly the same. This is Brian Kirchhoff. Welcome to the voiceover page and the best of the new year to you. We'll talk soon.